well, there's a lot of Tesla bulls out there and there's a lot of Tesla bears out there. I'm generally very optimistic about Tesla, but there's one thing that they have yet to do that they really need to do in order to make their valuation make sense. Stick around and we'll discuss it. Salutations YouTube, my name is Mark, this is the Stealthy Wealth Channel. Well, Tesla is off to a great growth trajectory. They are building on their sales every quarter, selling more and more cars every quarter. They're building more factories. They are basically the brand right now when it comes to electric vehicles. But just for now, while I do expect Tesla to remain dominant, there are other players coming on the scene. And it only makes sense that they're going to start chipping away at Tesla's market share. I think there's a lot of folks out there that for some reason just think, gosh, I mean, Tesla's just going to keep selling this incredibly high percentage of total electronic vehicles sold. And honestly, that's just not realistic. There's a lot of other players coming onto the scene uh, a lot of them doing the traditional internal combustion engines but are now converting to electric and there's you know other companies that are going straight to electric that haven't been around for all that long but there's ones that are really really good that are really growing right now it only makes sense that they're going to start chipping away at the market share that Tesla has that in and of itself isn't too much of a reason to be worried though because the overall electric vehicle market is going to continue growing by leaps and bounds so even though tesla is going to start losing some market share and honestly they've already started to lose some of their market share it's not really that big a deal because they're still gonna have all kinds of room to grow because the overall electric vehicle market is going to continue to grow so aggressively. The problem is, or one of the challenges that I see, is that Tesla's stock price values the company at such a high amount that I don't really think electric vehicle sales alone really make sense from a number standpoint to get them to the valuation where where they are that could mean some challenging things for the stock going forward so right now we can't just count on Tesla's electric vehicle sales in order for the stock to continue to grow so what needs to happen in my opinion the biggest factor that will determine whether or not Tesla can continue to grow into the giant company that a lot of people think that they can, and honestly, I'm optimistic that they will too, the one factor that they need to make happen is fully autonomous driving. They can't get close. Close isn't going to be good enough. They need to get all the way there, and not only do they need to get all the way there, they need to get there before anybody else does. This is absolutely essential, it's absolutely crucial in order for Tesla to be as successful as many people hope that it will be. Recently, Tesla has released its latest version of autonomous driving or autopilot uh, driving. A lot of people are touting this as, you know, the complete fully autonomous driving, but really it doesn't sound like it's there yet. And even Elon Musk doesn't seem to be saying that that's what this is. The name itself should even give you a clue. It, it's being released as you know, beta version 9 of autopilot. Things generally 
don't have the name beta attached to it if they're the final product. Beta generally means, at least as far as I'm concerned, that the uh, designers of the product, the engineers of the product, expect that there's still going to be kinks and problems to work out. This creates some challenges because there's so much that needs to happen, there's so much that needs to go into autopilot that, you know, it's, it's taken years and years to develop to the point where it is today. All of the stuff that they've successfully achieved prior to this point is probably going to be pretty easy compared to the things that they still have to fix. That's kind of been the way that this has been progressing this whole time. Elon Musk, Elon Musk expected that this product would be done by now, but unfortunately, he and the engineers at Tesla, the further along this project they got, the more difficult things seemed to become to fix. So the things that they still have yet to fix could take quite a bit of time before they actually perfect them and fix them. Why is that a problem? Well, time unfortunately affords competitors the ability to catch up in technology and in some cases sometimes surpass the company or the entity that seems ahead at any given time. So even though Tesla seems pretty comfortably in the lead towards fully autonomous driving, at least according to conventional wisdom that seems to be the case, it's not a done deal yet. They have to cross the finish line and they haven't done that yet. Until they do, someone else could potentially surpass them and get there first. So why is it so important that Tesla gets there first? Well, auto taxis is the reason. You see, auto, auto taxis, autonomous taxis, robo taxis, sometimes they're called, there's all kinds of different names for a potential or theoretical, it's not really theoretical, I'm, I'm, I think most people understand that it will eventually happen. Uh, there's going to be an autonomous car taxi service. It would be somewhat similar to what Uber and Lyft is doing now, except instead of a person dry, you know, driving a passenger from one place to another, it's going to be a self-driving car that pulls up to someone who's needing a ride the passenger will get into the car and then the car will drive itself and that passenger to the desired destination. Really sounds cool and it only makes sense once fully autonomous driving becomes a reality. The challenge is we need to be comfortable enough with whatever autopilot technology is out there that governments will be okay with such a service as robo-taxis existing. Until we get to that point, Tesla has to kind of rely on the electric vehicle sales itself to make its valuation make sense, and that's just not going to happen. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done before we can get to the point of robo-taxis. Not saying it's not going to happen, I think it will happen. But unfortunately, it may take longer than some people think. And that could pose a problem for Tesla stockholders who just continue to expect Tesla stock to balloon like it has the last few years. It may not happen. Hope it does. I'm a Tesla holder myself, Tesla shareholder myself, so I hope that it happens, but I'm not as completely sold as some other folks seem to be. So we're all just going to have to see what this version 9 of Tesla's autopilot you know, brings to the table. It sounds like they're getting close, but 
Crossing that finish line is the key. That's what needs to happen. This is not a scenario where close is good enough. They have to get all the way there. So let's all cross our fingers uh, that Tesla can actually finish this. And if they do, ugh, the, the valuations on the company will not only make sense, but if anything, the company may actually be undervalued, which will be a very exciting thing for any of those stockholders because they can watch their stock grow in value. So anyway, that's all for this video. My name is Mark. This is the Stealthy Wealth Channel. If you enjoyed this video, I would so much appreciate that you hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. I really need your help. Um, put a comment below if you've agreed or disagreed with anything that I've shared in this video as well. The more, in, the more that you can interact uh, with, with the video, with the comments down below, that's gonna help me grow this channel with the algorithm. So anyway, that's it for now. I look forward until the next time we meet.